Hey everyone, it's Ron with Passport to the Parks and today is Monday, July the 8th and I'm here at Disney's Art of Animation and Pop Century Resort where they've taken down some of the fence around the Skyliner station on the Generation Gap Bridge. So we can get a really nice view inside the station. Uh, we're going to take a quick look at that. Uh, before we do that, definitely visit PassportToTheParks.com, uh, follow all my social media and definitely subscribe here on YouTube if you haven't done so. So with that being said, I'm going to turn you around and we'll take a look at what's going on behind me. So this is pretty awesome to see. Uh, they've actually taken down half of the wall here on the Generation Gap Bridge. So this is the Art of Animation side, and they've taken down all of the, the wall that was blocking the entire station. So we get a really great view inside the station now, which is really awesome. So right here we can see the, the secondary loading track. So this is where the gondolas would come to load scooters and wheelchairs and anybody with any kind of disability. You can see that the gondolas are slowly starting to move around in that front track. Uh, the gondolas were not actually on the line when I got here and they're just starting to move them in right now. So that's a lot of fun to see. But now we get a really good idea of what that forward track looks like. And again, that front track is where it just you would uh, walk on. Uh, you just walk up and you would get on the, the gondolas and you would head to your destination. Then the rear track is again for scooters, wheelchairs, anybody that needs a little extra assistance so they can, as you can see, you can stop the gondolas back here and take all the time you need to load any kind of a scooter on board. So this is really, really cool. We finally get a nice clean shot inside here. Really see the detail inside. Again, I'm not too sure about these two buildings on either side here. These two white buildings were not in the original artist concept. So I'm not sure if they're staying or not. I don't know if they were used just for construction purposes and they're going to take them down, but it kind of looks like they might stay because it looks like there's um, some fire alarm apparatus on there. There's a camera on the opposite side here as well. So I'm uh, not sure. I think it would look a lot cooler if they were down and you could just see into the station. But if they need them for any kind of purposes, they'll, they'll leave them up. It's going to be a really fun station to board here. This is one of my favorites. I can't wait to, to leave and go out over our class lake. It's going to be so fun. As we walk a little further back, we can really get a good idea of what the station is going to look like now. It's great that this fence is down. You, could, you couldn't see in it at all. This fence was really high. You couldn't see over it. So this is really the first time we're seeing the station as it is here, unless we were on you know, the sides of our glass lake. But from behind here, this is incredible. And again, this is where your pedestrian traffic is going to come and you'll be entering uh, towards the rear of the station and then you'd be able to board the gondola and then guests getting off the gondolas would, would exit on the bridge here as well. So loading and unloading should be a pretty simple process. Hopefully the pedestrian traffic will be not too terrible through here. I'm sure at park closing and you know park opening this could get a little congested but throughout the normal course of the day I think this is going to be just fine through here and definitely a lot of fun. Sounds like they're sounding the alarm. The gondolas are going to start up here again. They sound a bell alarm. It's a, it's a warning alarm every time they start the gondolas, so it's for safety reasons. The restrooms here at the Yard of Animation look to be fairly complete. Uh, they're just doing some more work on the inside, it looks like. They're not open as of yet. Uh, I wonder if they will open before the Skyliner itself. they will be perfectly good bathrooms to use, but they may leave them closed until the very end. But I still love how they just incorporated the, the whole design of this bathroom uh, to look exactly like the station itself. So, you know, as you pan around here and you look at the station, they, there's no mistaking that that is definitely the Disney Skyliner restroom right there. So just as quickly as all the gondolas came into the station, they are now running all the gondolas back to the Caribbean beach. So they must be doing some sort of a testing, uh, running them out onto the line into the uh, Art of Animation station here and then back to the Caribbean beach, maybe parking them in the yard. Uh, whatever it is they're doing, it's always a lot of fun to watch. And this station looks absolutely incredible now, especially with the fence down. I love taking this look inside and seeing how the inner tracks work and uh, just a lot of fun. So. Now that the fences are coming down, landscaping is uh, definitely going up in different places. Uh, these stations are really starting to, to come together pretty quick. So that gives us hope that maybe they're gonna open before the fall, uh, maybe before Galaxy's Edge. Uh, that would be a lot of fun if they did that. So fingers crossed. 
right over on this side there, removing the, uh, the boards that were along the foundation here. So they brought out a little raft and then they're actually removing all of those. So looks like they're just pulling the stations together. They're trying to get all the, the last minute details done. Fences are coming down, landscaping is getting better. So hopefully we're gonna see more and more progress until eventually they get the Skyliner opened up for us. Just real quick, here's another look at that original artist concept that's here on the, the fence showing what the station is supposed to look like. Uh, now, I guess I do see over on this side, I guess what you could think would be that white building, but this looks more like a fence to me over here. Uh, and there's definitely not one on this side. And in this particular station, both those white buildings are on either side of the station. So not quite sure, uh, you know, this one, this one is not here. So I don't know if that is that building over there, if that's just fence or what those buildings are gonna be, if they're coming down, if they're staying, uh, not quite sure. But I think it looks a lot better uh, just wide open like this. I hope they, they make both sides to look like this. I think that looks really cool. So we'll see what happens. Okay, so there you have it. A lot of progress here at the Art of Animation of Pop Century. Skyliner Station is looking incredible. I love that the fences are coming down. That's a lot of progress, and I'm really excited that hopefully they're going to try to get this open prior to the fall, prior to Galaxy's Edge. That would be awesome. Fingers crossed, Disney. So let's see it happen. All right, uh, with that being said, uh, visit PassportToTheParks.com. Again, you can find all kinds of great information there. Follow all the social media. You know the drill. Subscribe here on YouTube if you haven't done that. All kinds of cool information here. So... Hope you guys have a great day, and we'll talk to you very, very soon. Bye-bye.